My face is on fire. God. Oh <laughs> my fucking elbow. Come on. Go down. Is that what you said? Excellent. I'm gonna have a little look. Oh my god, I'm so seen with my raccoon stripe. Yeah, it says uh smoking and it's this is done on 420. This is not what you think. For folks that don't know, I have made the conscious decision to quit smoking. And I want to talk about that a little bit. This is not going to be like, my struggle is eternal. No, it's not like that. Let's just say not smoking sucks. <laughs> it's very difficult. This is like the hardest thing that I've had to do. It's not so much finding myself like craving a cigarette so badly. I'm just like not sleeping well. There's like overwhelming feelings of like loneliness and unease <laughs> because I read somewhere that cigarettes can be like a friend to you and it's like losing a friend. Weird. The thing is they're just temporary setbacks, you know. Once you get over the hurdle of like the sucky part of it, the consequences of an action like this are legendary so it's okay. I mean I can feel the effects already like my lungs feel cleaner my voice isn't as like bleh, groggly. My singing voice is coming back like when I go in the car and I audition for American Idol when I'm in my car. Let's let's just talk about things that I didn't like when I was a smoker. I hated it when people would come up to me and be like did you you know smoking's really bad for you. Yeah <laughs> I'm pretty sure I knew that. These are kind of like tips to live by if you are a non-smoker and you want somebody to stop smoking. It's a decision that has to come from within for that person. You cannot force like your will on them. You can't be like, you must quit. It is your destiny. I mean, my mom had been pressuring me for years. Like, why don't you quit smoking? Oh, why don't you stop? It's like, just stop it. That makes me want to smoke more. Anybody that is just like so adamant to get you to quit smoking, but like will not shut up about it. Giving you the facts of like how many people die every year from cigarettes or saying, oh man, but it smells horrible. It's like, yeah, it's not the most pleasant smell, but have you smelled a man's body odor in the morning? Have you ever scented sweaty balls? I personally haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard it's really bad. So there's there's like this sense of like entitlement and like empowerment for some people that they think like you can change somebody's will and their and and like their push, their final push is gonna make is gonna be the one to make you stop smoking. It's like, okay, if that's all you're going for, like the glory of it, like don't even tell me not to smoke. You can always like express like that you don't like it when people smoke, but you can't ever, like, flat out just tell a smoker, like, you have to stop. Like, they know they should not be doing it. Like, it, it's not a good habit. It's just, it's, it's like the worst habit you can have. Maybe besides drinking and, and shooting up heroin. But on the flip side of that, I hated smokers that had this sense of entitlement. There, there's, like, unwritten rules when you do smoke. If I was smoking on the street and I passed by like a couple with like some kids, like I'd try to hide the cigarette away. Like I wouldn't want them to see me like <laughs> inhaling. And I'd never like blow smoke in somebody's face. At, at my news station, they, they like outlawed smoking in front of the door, which I understood. Like, you know, you don't want to be coming into a building like and then you get like a what a whoosh of like smoke on you like if you don't like it but there are there were so many smokers at work that were like well whatever like this is so stupid like we have to walk down there now to smoke i was bummed but i wasn't like <laughs> i'm just so lazy i didn't want to walk some smokers are just rude about it you know like they'll flick their cigarette anywhere like if even if there's an ashtray like two steps over. I hope I don't turn into one of those people that is becoming this this advocate for non-smoking. If you are a smoker, let's just put it this way. Like, if I can quit, anybody can quit because 
my god, I was smoking a lot, and I liked to smoke. I, like, loved to smoke, frankly. <laughs> It'll come with time. It'll, you'll just, you just won't want to do it anymore. And I have not been out drinking yet, so that's, like, the ultimate test because, you know, drinking and smoking go hand in hand. So I, I think I'm just going to take my little electronic cigarette that I have and uh, use that out at the bars. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it in the bar. That's that. I still have my lighter. This is not a trigger for me. <laughs> I'm just going to go because it's my birthday tomorrow and I have a day off and it's a day of beauty for me. Getting the hair cut getting my nails done, getting a spray tan. <laughs> See you later, bitches.